good morning dear students today in this lecture talk we'll discuss on oils and wax then i'll be going through waxes okay now let us begin today's class on oils and fats before that let us go through the classification of lipids okay in the first class of this particular lecture i have given already the classification of lipids when you consider here the simple lipids in simple lipids we can classify fat and oil okay then first next one is uh, wax okay simple lipids we are classify into one is the wax other one is the fats and oils okay these fats and oils are known as triglycerides okay then even we have classified these lipids into compound lipids for example phospholipids glycolipids sulfolipids amino lipids and lipoproteins right other classification that is derived lipids for example sterol or steroids ketone hormones sphingolipids then terpenes lipid then soluble vitamins so we can classify this lipids into three that is simple lipids then compound lipids next one is the derived lipids okay under simple lipids now let us go through the oils and fats whereas i have made here the two columns to understand the difference between the oils and fats okay oils as the name suggests these oils will be liquid at room temperature but there are some exceptions to this rule that you understand the properties of lipids okay fat these are solids okay solids at room temperature but there are here also some exceptions to this rule okay the next point here oils are made up of high percentage of unsaturated fatty acids unsaturation mean there'll be a between carbon carbon atom there'll be a presence of the double bonds the double bonds may be a mono unsaturated or poly unsaturated fatty acids okay when we consider here the fats these contain high percentage of saturated fatty acids okay you can see there is saturated hydrocarbon chain and single bonds between the carbon carbon atoms for oils you can give example coconut oil cotton oil groundnut oil and many more other for other example for the fat that is butter wool fat etc okay so this is the difference between the oils and fats okay if i'm going very quick kindly pause this video and make a note in your notebook okay now let us go through the biological importance of oils and fats okay triglycerides serves serves as major energy sources in animals right the amount of energy release due to the oxidation of 1 gram of fat is about 1. kilo calorie per gram which is twice the amount of energy released due to the carbohydrate oxidation that is 4.1 kilo calorie per gram with the carbohydrates okay as these uh, uh, acylglycerides are hydrophobic the triacylglycerols can be stored for long duration when compared to the carbohydrate which are highly hydrated okay in some animals triacylglycerols stored subcutaneously it serves as insulation against low temperature okay these are the some of the very important biological importance of oils and fats now let us go through here about waxes okay waxes you may get in the examination for two marks okay kindly focus here what are waxes okay waxes are oh, actually the uh, long chain saturated or unsaturated fatty acids okay and these are esters of higher fatty acids with higher monohydrate alcohol okay with they'll be having the higher molecular weight alcohol can be seen okay now let us go through the waxes so these are widespread in nature that can be seen in both plants and animals okay and even you can observe in the secretions of some insects which acts as protective coating of skin and fur in some of the animals okay 
and whatever axis means you can write this one these are esters of fatty higher okay higher fatty acids and are monohydric alcohol okay where they are higher monohydric alcohol these waxes have long chain saturated r this is or r okay saturated r unsaturated fatty acids for example b wax then carnauba wax wool fat etc okay you can write it here also these wax okay the term wax which is originates from old english word wax meaning material from honey comb okay so in short how we can define these waxes waxes are esters of higher molecular weight fatty acids and are higher monohydric alcohols okay further waxes are insoluble in water and are resistant to atmospheric oxidation because of these properties they are widely used in polishing furniture automobiles and also wax coated paper used to wrap perishable food products like biscuits cake other bakery products okay and these waxes are widely used in manufacture of lotions ointments and polishes for example linoleum which is taken from the skin of lamb okay these wax from honeycomb then cornova wax from a brazilian palm tree then spermatostic oil that is from the palm bay okay next in vertebrate waxes are secreted by cutaneous glands as a protective cover to keep the skin shiny lubricate and water proof hair and fur are also coated with wax okay birds particularly water fowl secretes waxes in their glands to make their feathers water repellent okay the leaves of many plants such as rhododendron calotropis etc are shiny because of the deposition of the wax or waxy coatings on the stem and leaves of plants that protect the plant from microbial and insect invasions okay further the leaves and fruits of many plants have this wax coating right which protect them from dehydration and from small predators right the feathers of birds and fur of some animals have similar coatings which serve as water repellent okay you can see there the diagrammatic represent uh, sorry pictorial representation of bee wax carnauba wax and natural spermatic wax okay lastly the fatty acids with no double bonds are saturated fatty acids those with double bonds are mono unsaturated fatty acids okay those with double bonds means those with a single okay those with a single double bond are mono unsaturated fatty acids and those with more than one double bond are called poly unsaturated fatty acids usually in viva or maybe uh, in mcq or maybe in one mark question they may ask you what pufa that full form okay or in viva also they may ask you so pufa that is nothing but the poly unsaturated fatty acids okay hope you understood today's class oils and fats and about wax i dr pratibha k signing off for today stay tuned with me i'll be back with some more videos thank you for watching this video